In my last video, I showed you how to join data using SQL. And in this video, I'll show you how to do the same thing, but using Excel. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to Vitamin BI, bringing you business intelligence for beginners and beyond. My name's Adam and on this channel I help you do more with data. So if you're new here, think about subscribing. Okay, let's jump onto my computer and I'll show you how to join data using Excel's index and match functions. So here I've got the same data I used for the SQL joins, so you'll be able to compare the two. The idea is that we have our orders data sheet and a managers sheet that contains the name of our regional managers. What we want to do is to essentially join the two together and append the manager name to the orders sheet. I'm going to show you formulas for when you're joining with a single criteria or joining key and then with more than one joining key. For both of these, we'll be using the index and match Excel functions to search for and match data between the two sheets. To make this tutorial easier to follow, I'm going to copy and paste the manager's data into the orders sheet, but you can simply reference that data where it is in another sheet. So we want to take the manager name from column M and append it to each row in column I. Here's how we do it. We start in cell I2 with an equals index open bracket. The index function tells Excel where the data is that you want to return, in our case, in this range of cells. Straight after that, we add in comma match, open bracket. Now we have to tell Excel what value from our orders data we want to find a match for in our manager's data. In this case, the data we want to match up is region. So I select region in F2, comma, and then the range to look for the match in, which is here. The third element of the match function asks for a match type. Here we want to add comma zero, which means we want an exact match. And then finally, we want to close the two brackets like so, and enter. Cassandra Brando has been returned, which if we check is correct. That's great, but we're not finished and I'll show you why. If I drag this formula down, we're getting lots of not available results. If we double click in one of these cells, we can see that the two ranges we specified in the formula have moved along with the row we're looking up. To fix this, we need to fix the ranges to be static. The way we do this is by adding a dollar sign between the column letters and the row numbers. So M$2 and M$6, N$2 and N$6 and enter. Now when we drag down, all of the rows have returned the correct result. So that was an example of joining data based on a single criterion, in our case region. Now let's look at how we can join data based on multiple criteria. First though, a big shout out to excelljet.net for helping me find the answer to this problem. I already knew how to complete our first example, but needed help with this second one. If you're an Excel user, excelljet.net is a really helpful site, so do check it out. I'll leave a link in the description to the specific article for further reference. OK, so here we are with some new manager data. This time we have the manager for each region and segment. So we can't match rows just on region because there are now three rows for each region in the manager's data. We need to index and match on both region and segment. Here is the formula. I won't go into too much detail on how exactly it works. If you want to know more, check out the full article in the description. I'm just going to tell you the elements you need to reference in the formula, which should be enough to help you do what you need to. We start, as before, with the equals index open bracket. And again, we're still looking for the same information, so the range remains the same. This list of manager names. And as before, 
comma match open bracket. Next, one comma index followed by another open bracket. Now we specify our two criteria. The first one will look up the segment in cell D2, equals, and try to match it in the range in the manager's data. Then the second will look up region in F2 and try to match it in the range in column N, followed by comma 0, comma 1, close brackets, comma 0, and finally close the remaining brackets. I'll press enter and drag to fill down the formula. Kelly Williams is central consumer. Let's check that. And that's correct. If you haven't yet seen my video on joining data with SQL, you can check it out here. And if you'd like to learn more about business intelligence in general, check out this playlist. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Adam Finer and until the next time, stay BI Curious.